The Nintendo Switch is awesome. You know what I mean? It's good. It's real good, man. Might just be my favorite console ever. And it's getting awesome third-party support already. I mean, we already have stacks on stacks on stacks of games, man. We got Doom, L.A. Noir, Rocket League, Skyrim, and many, many, many more, man. The list just goes on. And it got me thinking what other awesome third-party games I would want on the Switch. What's good, people? I'm Yeti Machete, and this is five third-party games I want on the Switch. Let's check it out. Now, before we begin this list, remember, this list is based on my opinions. These are games that I want on the Switch. Definitely let me know your five games you want on the Switch in the comments down below. I would definitely love to hear from you. All right, you guys, so numero uno up first is GTA 5. Now, every good console I've had, whether it's a home console or a handheld, has had GTA on it. I think GTA would work perfectly on the Switch. Now, I don't know how online would work because, <laughs> let's be real here, Nintendo can't seem to get with the times, add voice chat, you know, other things like adding people directly from the game, a party chat system, you know, things that should be on a 2017 console, you know what I mean? But you know what? I would take GTA 5 even without the online mode. Yes, that's right, that's how bad I want GTA on the Switch, even though online is a huge part of that game. And before some of you go saying, oh, keep dreaming the Nintendo Switch can't even run GTA 5. Dude, the PS3 and Xbox 360 could run GTA 5 and it's been proven that the Switch is more powerful than the last gen consoles. So, you know what I mean? It, it, it definitely can happen. I'm hoping it'll happen. Because, you know what I mean? That game will be real nice, man. Be real good. All right, so up on the number two spot, we have Mortal Kombat X or Injustice 2. Now, as far as I know, the Switch doesn't have many fighting games. I think it deserves more. Sure, we got Street Fighter, and that's awesome. If that's your go-to beat-em-up game. Now, for me, I've never been a fan of the Street Fighter series. I just prefer Mortal Kombat style. And when NetherRealm ports over games to handhelds, they do them so goddamn good, man. Adding in little mini games and console-exclusive game modes, kind of like what we got with Mortal Kombat on the Vita. So I'd be extremely happy with Injustice 2 or Mortal Kombat X. Either of those games, man. Mm. I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, so third on my list, you guys, is a series that I haven't played since the PS2 days, and that is Kingdom Hearts. I know Kingdom Hearts is such a good series. Well, most of the Kingdom Hearts are real good, but I haven't picked it up, man. I haven't picked up another Kingdom Hearts since Kingdom Hearts 2, and honestly, I really do not know why. <sighs> I really don't know why, because I had so many good memories on Kingdom Hearts 2, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, again, I feel like this is a game that would be perfect for the Switch in portable mode. It just, mm, can you imagine? Can you imagine playing Kingdom Hearts in bed? Kingdom Hearts on the bus, the train. Kingdom Hearts, why you take a poo, man? Mm, real good. All right, fellas. So moving on to number four. Now, number four on the list is a game that I've been wanting to pick up since release, but I've been waiting for it to go on sale, and I don't know why, because it's so good. This game is Overwatch. You heard that right, man. Want me some goddamn Overwatch, fellas. Can I get me some Overwatch? Now, I've been so tempted to pick this up in the past, but again, I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I'm about done waiting. Now, I know some people think that because it's online only, that the game wouldn't be good on Switch because, you know, you're out. You're about, you got no Wi-Fi, and bam, you can't play. And some casual gamers who buy it might be upset when they find that out. Now, uh, I personally would not mind an online-only game. However, there is a simple fix for people that do care. Add a bot mode of some sort, you know what I mean? If it's already on there, uh, you know, I do apologize. But like I said, I haven't played it yet. I think the Switch needs more competitive multiplayer games. Sure, we have Splatoons. But I want more, goddammit. I want more. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I want more. Is that is that too much? Anyway, continuing on to number five. Now, we have Call of Duty or Battlefield. Now, love them or hate them, both games sell extremely well year after year. I myself usually end up buying both of them. Playing them consistently? Mm, now, that's a different story. I personally would love to get COD World War II because that game is actually pretty freaking good, man. I mean, zombies on the Switch. Come on, fellas. You know that's real nice. You know that's real nice. 
Now, I doubt we'll get a World War II, but I think we will get the next iteration of Call of Duty. I doubt we'll see a battlefield because EA is acting like a real bitch right now. But hey, if it comes down to it, they release it, I'm all for it. But I'd really love to get a Call of Duty, man. We need more first-person shooters on the Nintendo Switch. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up the video. Like I said, definitely let me know what games you wanna see on the Nintendo Switch. If you guys enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Shmiggity smack that like button. If you haven't yet, check out my other content. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.